Dietary supplements are a $40 billion a year industry in the United States, but a new report finds serious risks. Here's Dr. Tara Narula. 43-year-old tattoo artist Bobby Cimarelli and his wife Margaret have struggled to get pregnant. Cimarelli decided to try over-the-counter testosterone supplements. I was really bloated. Um, my blood pressure was, like, really high. Within weeks, Cimarelli wound up in the emergency room. Doctors said the supplements were the likely culprit. I had no idea that there were side effects. I thought it was just like regular vitamins. Cimarelli is one of the roughly 200 million Americans taking dietary supplements. Today, Consumer Reports identified 15 commonly used supplement ingredients that could be potentially harmful. Some examples, red yeast rice to lower cholesterol may cause kidney and liver problems. Green tea extract powder for weight loss may elevate blood pressure and cause liver damage. And kava to reduce anxiety may exacerbate depression. One area of concern is supplements do not undergo the rigorous regulatory scrutiny applied to prescription drugs and other over-the-counter medicines. Dr. Peter Cohen of Harvard Medical School. The problem is supplements look just like these drugs on store shelves, but the requirements to get a supplement on store shelves is nothing compared to what it takes to sell aspirin or Tylenol. What do you tell your patients? When Dr. Aida Vega is an internist at Mount Sinai Hospital. She says that doctors and patients often don't discuss supplements, which can lead to problems. How important is it for physicians to ask patients about supplement use? The most important part of this is to understand why they're taking it. Because many times, if you understand why they're taking it, you can steer them in the proper direction. The supplement industry says overwhelmingly supplements are safe and play a valuable role. But Scott, doctors worry lax regulation and enforcement means products could be contaminated, mislabeled, or interact in dangerous ways with prescription medication. Dr. Tara Narula for us tonight. Thank you, doctor.